Hello adventurers, my name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at the tokenizer. Again, it had a major update and as well with version 11 there are some different things available in the plugin as well as in Foundry itself. But today we're going to be only looking at Foundry itself. That being said, let's go to the module paths. Okay, so we turn to setup and add on modules. Let's look for it. Tokenizer. The name also got a small update. So Tokenizer, the token editor. Created by Mr. Primat. Nothing much change. You simply hit install and should automatically install. Okay, going back to the game world. Okay, let's close this because we do not need it. And we're going to be going to the bars note, which is my landing page. Hope you like it. Now that we do have these two tokens i'm simply gonna remove them from here and i'm gonna create two new actors and i'm gonna name them one and two doesn't matter player or not player as long as you can add the picture you can do this very very easily okay so let's start with one i do have the file on my desktop and there you go this is gonna be the first picture okay now i'm gonna set it in place as as i will feel very pleased uh, about it so it should be you can zoom in well, with the scroll and with the right click you can move left right up down i feel like that's about right okay i do have a set of uh frames you can use any of the standardized ones but i already imported it and i am able to locate it here if you see something you like simply select it from here okay so this is going to be the ring i'm going to be using let's delete the white template and we're simply going to be using the avatar image this is the mask like if you see it here very closely and we're simply going to be laying it one up and let's move the picture a little bit down to center it a bit okay right now everything is good for one and one level one looks proper okay now let's look at two which was this one which had a little bit of transparency if you remember Okay, so let's let's leave that there. Oh, two. Once again, I hit, you hit modify here and upload from your computer the picture that you want. So in my case, this is going to be this one. The file in itself already had a transparency layer, so it should look something a little bit like this. I'm going to go a little bit in more detail with this one than it was before so let's remove e everything we don't need this time we have a frame you can use a uh, background as well just keep in mind if you remove the background as i did before it will look transparent even on the map so heads up on that i'm gonna add another frame which is gonna be the background in this case i feel like it matches very very well with us okay so i'm gonna be making it a little bit smaller because i want the character to really really pop out in this situation make it a little bit more interesting okay oh so i'm simply gonna be using this one so i i need everything above basically the blue color color over here cape to be transparent i'm gonna be cloning this layer I'm gonna move this layer down so it goes a little bit under it and we're gonna be creating a mask with advanced mask application which is the two keters uh faces and we're gonna go to edit mask right now we're interested for everything above the specific line and in my end 
in your situation might be a little bit different so keep that in mind i'm simply gonna be hitting apply what i will need for this mask to be standalone so i'm simply gonna be hitting zero just want it to be transparent from this moment on if you want to react with the other layers you simply select the other layers as well you can do so individually with each one but it's not going to have much effect because i'm interesting only that part to show on screen nothing else right now uh, let's go down let's also close this because it bugs me apply and if we drop right now oh, sorry wrong token number two on the field it's gonna look like with the new token assigned i mean said so this was a little bit on a shorter side of tutorial however the tool in itself got very very simplified and easy to use and you can create something amazing i would say if you do have any questions do not hesitate to drop them in the comment box and also uh, help me do what the algorithm likes like subscribe and all that jazz i mean said Thank you so much for watching and I do wish you a wonderful rest of your day.